Hello everybody, happy hump day. I am Liesl uh, Zabo and I'm here tonight, actually, believe it or not, from a drive-thru. Um, and I don't know about you, but I was having this conversation with a colleague of mine this afternoon on the playground and we were like, you know what? I think it is absolutely wrong that any teacher, and if you're a teacher, you can probably relate to this. Or if you're a mom, she said, you know, being a mom too on top of this, like, is icing on the cake, but a Halloween should never, ever <laughs> be on a Monday. Um, and we are just feeling that you can't, like, you can't come back from that. Um, everybody's really tired. Um, everybody is kind of dragging, I feel, this week, and I'm just feeling it with me, with the people around me and my students. So, Here's my situation this afternoon. So my husband, Jordan, is actually on the road um, up in Buffalo, New York. He is interviewing for residency. Um, he's interviewing everywhere. I want to throw out the disclaimer that that doesn't mean we're moving to Buffalo by any means. So let me just say that right now. <laughs> Don't get excited. Um, he is interviewing all over the country. So um, anyway, um, so we, um, he is on the road constantly for these next few months just interviewing and we're busy and you know we're kind of like crazy like every week is different so anyway Wednesday afternoon Halloween was Monday I'm really tired I don't want to cook tonight my husband's not home so I had planned this afternoon to um, drive over after school to the nearby trail and I, I did an extra workout this afternoon I did my run you know I'm, I signed up for that half marathon so I've been running um, about three times a week um, just to keep up with it and it's a beautiful day freaky 83 degrees right now on November 2nd which is just I it blows my mind it doesn't feel like November at all but um, in spirit of this crazy hectic week of course um, I went to scoop the dog's food this morning and we are out of dog food so um, I had to add that to my nightly plans. Luckily, it's nearby. Um, our world is full of convenience, which is amazing. Um, so about five minutes away from the trail, I pulled in a PetSmart, grabbed the dog food real quick. And you know what I thought? I thought, let's do drive through tonight. Let's go ahead and um, back to that convenience of the world. Where I live is totally convenient. Across the street from where I am right now, there's a um, Arby's. There's a uh, Burger King. There is Pizza Hut. There is, wait, I'm trying to think. There's Taco Bell. Um, there's all these restaurants even, like Olive Garden and um, Red Robin and all this stuff. But I, I want to make it known that if you would take a second and just think for a second, yeah, I can still get a convenient dinner and it can still be healthy. So where I'm sitting right now is Panera Bread. I love it. I love Panera Bread. Um, and it's a choice that I make often. Um, and I also, I love Chick-fil-A too. I love their salads there. But the thing I didn't want to do tonight is Chick-fil-A is also conveniently located right next to Target. And I had to find that self-control this evening because I could really go for a Target trip right now, to be honest. Um, my husband's gone. That's my other second favorite thing to do while he's gone is go to Target. But I really do have to get home to my dog in a second but anyway back to the drive through it's really easy to make a good choice okay I'll go to Panera I know that they serve healthy choices right but you have to be careful even when you're at Panera even if you walk in the door at Panera Bread that doesn't mean that everything on the menu is a-okay and the best choice to make so here's my little trick um, I actually didn't physically go through the drive through tonight because I knew they had these inside and I wanted to show you this okay this is Panera's menu Menu. And if you did want to hit up the drive through if I wasn't on here live with you tonight, I'm um, giving you these little tips. I would have went through the drive through because you can also access this on their website. All you have to do is Google Panera menu and this comes up in a PDF form. So that's pretty cool. So preview the menu before you order. So what I do is I just flip through the menu and I search out a healthy choice. For me, when I go to Panera, I love their salads. I've never had one that's not good. So I always pretty much order a salad, but there are good options. They have whole grain flatbreads. They have um, sandwiches that are made with whole wheat breads. So there are good options there. Um, then you just have to search the menu and I'm gonna show you how to make the best salad choice. So there's a lot of good salad choices on here. 
Um, and I'm going to compare two of them and talk about, well, what makes that a better choice than the other? So, um, forever I was the go-to chicken Caesar salad girl at Panera. It was always with the whole grain baguette. That was what I ordered every single time I came here. Sometimes even did the you pick two, of course, with the broccoli cheddar soup and then the half chicken Caesar salad. But let's talk about the chicken Caesar salad and let's talk about their in season salad. It's the ancient grain and arugula with chicken. I love both of those, okay? Oh my gosh, Adrian, you need to get to Panera Bread. I cannot believe you've never been there. Holy cow, girl. Let's let's talk about these salads and I guarantee you that you're gonna get in the car and go to Panera. So, um, their in-season salad is the ancient grain and arugula with chicken, so, and then we'll compare it to that chicken Caesar. So both of them, great thing about them and great thing about Panera, both of them have chicken raised without antibiotics. So it's clean. They give you um, really, really good meat, okay? You're not getting like fast food meat here. You're getting good, clean meat raised without antibiotics. They, they swear by that and they promise that at Panera Bread. Okay, so you're good on your protein, honestly. You're getting good protein with each. Let's talk about the grains you're seeing on these. All right, so the, actually we'll talk about lettuce first. So the chicken Caesar has romaine lettuce. Romaine's a good choice, okay? It's not a bad choice. It's much better compared to an iceberg lettuce, which is honestly just water. If you eat iceberg lettuce, you're eating water. You're not getting any nutrients out of this. Um, romaine tastes, I think, very similar to a iceberg, but you're getting nutrients in that romaine. So not a terrible lettuce choice, but over here, the ancient grain, they have arugula. Like, that's really full of of good stuff, right? Good stuff for you. That's going to give you fuel, um, and fuel up your body and, and fill your body with nutrients. So arugula versus romaine, that's a better choice. Um, and it also has cabbage slaw in it, which I think is delicious. I love cabbage slaw. Um, I, you know, that's, it's a really extra, um, fun, um, lettuce or veggie, um, in there mixed it. And then the grains. Okay. So the grains, in the ancient grain and arugula salad, it has ancient grains in it. So like, it's like a quinoa kind of idea. So again, full of nutrients, right? Fuel, full of good grain, whole, good whole grains for your body that gives you what you need. Okay, remember, I just went on a run, so I'm trying to refuel here. I'm trying to feel good and give my body what it needs. Versus that Caesar, the only form of grain on there would be the focaccia croutons. And focaccia croutons versus ancient grains. What do you think? Okay, so weigh it. Okay, what would be the better choice? Finally, you're going to need to think about your dressings. See what dressings they come with. Ancient grain arugula comes with a, bals a um, sweet balsamic versus that Caesar, that creamy white Caesar salad dressing. So you can see here, there's one choice is greater than the other. Now is a Caesar chicken Caesar salad better than heading across the street to Arby's? Absolutely. Um, I don't want to discredit a chicken Caesar salad. Um, I would be very proud of you if you pulled into Panera and ordered a chicken Caesar salad versus the cheddar roast beef sandwich with curly fries over across the street at Arby's. So you know, it's all about balance really in life. If you really love a chicken Caesar, hey, that's great. You know what else is cool about Panera? If you are like a, a Caesar lover, they do have a romaine and kale Caesar. So you could add a little bit more superfood in there with a kale um, versus just the romaine. And instead of those um, pakasha croutons, they actually put little peppermint, or not peppermint, I'm not ready for Christmas, Parmesan crisps. Okay, so the crisps are a little bit of a better um, option than those um, those croutons. So, you know, you have to just take, it, this literally took me two minutes to just browse to the menu and weigh my options and figure out which is the best thing and what my body needs. That ancient grain arugula too, guys, has pumpkin seeds on it. So little extra, that seeds are great for you. And they have also fresh apple and red grapes. So really all in one box right here, I'm getting a completely balanced full meal, full of, full of vegetables, 
full of protein and grains and uh, fruit and just it's gonna fill me up and fuel me up after I just did another workout today so you have to just take the time just take the time to make a better choice it takes a little bit of willpower right sure I would love to go eat a roasted um, you know roast beef cheddar sandwich over at Arby's but you know what when all is said and done I'm gonna feel really good for making the choice that I did. So, just a little drive through tips for you. Don't think you can't go to a drive through and still make great choices out there. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that those of you that have never been to Panera that hopped on here, um, get to Panera <laughs> and give it a try. It's one of my favorite places. So, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Make good choices out there. You can do it. You have the power. Your brain can do this. You can make that choice for yourself, okay? And I promise you when all is said and done, you're going to feel better and fuller and healthier because you did so. So see you later. Survive the week. We are almost there. We have two more days now. We made it past hump day. All right. Have a great one.